Hey everyone, this is a trigger warning because today's episode does include a controversial sex scene. Yes, obviously we've been calling out Siren and Daphne's relationship and all of the toxic moments in it from day one, and this is clearly an extension of that. Sometimes the movies and TV shows we watch, uh, they need a little bit more nuance than we're prepared for, um, and our reactions that were captured no longer reflect our views on the scene uh, now. Yeah, obviously we love you guys and we appreciate your support and we don't want anyone to feel hurt or overlooked with our reactions. And we will continue to call out any toxic behavior uh, in film and media because we want to move forward and really providing positivity. So thank you guys for watching. Um, enjoy, enjoy the, the episode. episode. Wow, jinx. All right, the, lots happened. The Duke and now Duchess have just had a great night together. The only thing that's missing from their marriage is future children, and you know what? Maybe one day they'll adopt and take in a stray. Right. Orphan, uh, orphan is what they're called. I'm excited to see where this goes. I am interested because the last episode didn't really leave off on a cliffhanger. I feel like we need to still find out who Lady Whistledown is. The the matter at hand of the children. Penelope getting ignored by the guy she likes. Right. And then obviously the spinoff of the Queen and Eloise. Eloise and the Queen. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, we film these back to back sometimes. So. so we cannot say what y'all's input is, but hopefully... Actually, maybe we can. The winner is... Oh, yes. So good. Such a good title. Wow. I especially loved it when they used the title... Wigs and Roses, Youths of the Regency. <laughs> and I really love this about it. All the creative titles. My favorite title was actually... Eloise and Sheep Finders Queenpers. But sadly, we had to go with the title... The One That One. That's the one we chose. Exactly. <laughs> All right, let's start the episode. All right. Episode six, S Swish. Swish, swish, bitch. Another one in the basket. Dearest reader, I must send felicitations to the new Duke and Duchess of Hastings. Look, they're so happy now. I know, but when's the pin gonna drop? Yeah, it's just so annoying that they wasted their whole engagement and wedding thinking that the other person wasn't happy. Like, that could have been awesome. I'm looking forward to making your acquaintance, Mrs. Colson. Thank you, Your Grace. I've planned everything to make you both comfortable. I have plans of my own for my new bride. Pound town, pound town. I just brought her home, now it's time to take her to pound town. <laughs> That's aggressive. Yours or mine? You truly believe we had our separate rooms? Yeah, well, you know, I wonder what? where I got that what idea from. What supposed to think? The queen herself has charged me with discovering Mr. Dale's identity and you would not have me go to her majesty now. Excuse me, I have a job, girl. Yeah! I would like to make a small but rather important announcement. Uh oh. Oh no. I have happy news to you guys. Uh. I have asked Miss Marina Thompson to be my wife, and she has accepted. I barely know the young lady. What on earth were you thinking? I was thinking you would probably respond like this, and how little I would care I, to hear. Do you think this is a joke? <laughs> the privilege of a man. You compromise this young lady? Certainly not. I'm a gentleman. And who are you to talk about compromising? <laughs> I do not require your permission to marry Miss Thompson, but I would very much prefer to have your blessing. Then I'm afraid I must disappoint you. Well, shit. <laughs> yes, we're all disappointed. Oh, the honeymoon oh, phase. Time to be duchess of all of this. I must start learning the lie of the land. You don't have to do anything ever again. Jeffries, I am on my honeymoon. The steward has left the records in some disarray. If I must. I'm not putting pants on. My youngest sister Hyacinth is something of a student of history. Very well, Your Grace. All right, come here. I'm your boss. Turn that <laughs> all the fucking way down. Let's try that again. She was beautiful. Thoughtful too. A perfect duchess. Wow, she really just stared her down. You're so far away. Oh, how adorable. That's this. Meet your approval? Oh, without question. Do, do we, yeah, do we need to leave? <laughs> Nothing more romantic than sex in the rain. Is that all that these next few episodes are gonna be like? Here it is. Say you'll remember me Standing in a nice dress Staring at the sunset Baby, wildest dreams Sorry, but yeah, this episode is all about the sex. <laughs> They are going at it, huh? Does that hurt? I feel as you feel. Absolutely wonderful. 
Does that hurt? Burn it down. She's gonna like wrap her legs around and be like, no, you stay in. I think when she figures out what's happening, when it's not that he can't, it's that he won't, that's when we're gonna have a problem. Is she still touching herself? How? I think he's, uh. Okay, he's, uh, I was about to say, I was like, ew, mouthwash. <laughs> It's like, I wish I had someone to do that to me. Our activities are quite spirited. I'm sure all of our fortunes are about to change. Mm, especially Collins. Yeah! <laughs> Can you not try to understand and be a little pleased for me? Marina? That ship has sailed. That was the ship sailing. Between the two of them, they really will make the most beautiful baby. He is not the father. <laughs> oh my gosh. You will look so very lovely with it pinned up next season. No, I will look like every other young lady in the room. Less graceful and more bad tempered. <laughs> Our bills will be settled in full as soon as you've made Miss Thompson, soon to be Bridgerton, her gown and the other items for her trousseau. What about I'm her dowry? It's not possible. Perhaps you might find another tailoress more to your liking across town. You could try Sears. You have such a unique accent, and yet I've never asked where in France you're from. Got her! Ma mère est française, vous avez. I believe Madame Delacroix will be somewhat more amenable to our requests now, Lady Weather. Woo! Oh, shit, where'd she, where'd she pull that from? That I've decided that all three pigs have tied. So we're gonna eat them all? I hereby decree every pig such a winner that none should be slaughtered. But oh, she's new here, isn't she? <laughs> so great of the rich to decide that we can't eat. <laughs> I love when they do that. With the reds being tripled, we are struggling to put food on the table. I'm sure we can find a solution to these difficulties. Have you tried vegan? <laughs> Turn, please. Profile. Swish. Swish. Swish, swish. That's fish. the name of the <laughs> episode. Come on, baby. I was, come Let's on, in Swish. Lady Bridgerton is shrewd. She has had eight children. Trust she knows when she's being managed. <laughs> oh, the sweet one will turn petty real quick. Oh, dear, what can the matter be? Oh, dear, what can the matter be? <laughs> her heart belongs to another. What? His name is Sir George Crane. She's doing this because of her own... Of course, but also, but it's also something that needs to be said. Her reasoning is a little selfish, but also. I know my mind and Marina's. We understand each other. Uh, Penelope, I feel for you, but. Fuck the family! I'm burning this bitch to the ground. You don't take my man from me. I wish we could be married this very minute. We could be married within a matter of days. I don't care how fast you're getting married at this point. That baby's been around for what? Like. Three months, because she said she has six months to go, right? Yeah, that's still not nine months. I mean, Flora's dad didn't put it together, so... <laughs> Bly Manor, you can catch all the episodes right here. Job. They are my tenants, my people. The responsibility is mine. Wow, I'm just trying to help. Please excuse me. You know, I mean to visit some of your tenants. <laughs> I might deliver some gift baskets. I will have someone gather those on your behalf. If you simply tell me of your wants and needs, I will ensure everything is in order. I will ensure everything is done properly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Perhaps I might ask your opinion on something. I cannot imagine what I've done wrong so soon. It was the pigs. It is tradition that the winner is allowed to supply pork to Cliveden for the next year. Oh, it's a For a year? For a whole town? When you could not choose a winner, no farmer won the contract. I had no idea. How could you have your grace? And why didn't your husband tell you that? Yeah, yeah he left her out to dry there, but he that, really did. This is what you do, obviously. If you have the right heart, and you're humble enough to let people tell you what's what. Exactly. You can be a better leader. I'm so very grateful for your guidance, Mrs. Colson. His grace, but his childhood was not always easy. Mm. It's not always the woman who is barren. Sometimes it is the man's fault, of course. Oh dear, I'm afraid I'm speaking out of turn. No, not at all, Mrs. Colson. Okay, let me continue. <laughs> 
I said to the Duchess. Ooh, spill that tea. <laughs> her womb cannot quicken without strong, healthy seed. I told you we were dining with Lady Godside this evening. <coughs> Sorry, Mama, I'm not feeling well. I'm sick. Boo, you whore. I'm gonna hop on her laptop and send an anonymous email to Gossip Girl. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> <gasps> but real though, is she gonna send something to Lady Whistle? The How did she send? I don't know. Yeah, but these are just the letters. This isn't. No, is I she think looking, she, she's looking for the one. I think she just discovered. Oh, that it's fake. They are not the same. The slant of the lettering, it is all wrong. George has still not replied to my letters. He has abandoned me. I've abandoned my boy! What will you do when Colin realizes the child is not his? What I will do is live safe in the knowledge that my husband is a good and kind man. But what of him? What of Colin? You love him. Oh my God! Did it take you that long? Your love is an unrequited fantasy. Colin sees you as you are and regards you no differently than he does Eloise, or even little Hyacinth. He sees me as a wife, a woman, and as a woman, I must make these difficult choices for myself and for my child. All right. Cool. <laughs> she, she probably thinks he's dying every time that happens. She's like, I wonder how much longer he has to live. <laughs> I need you to tell me something, Rose. How does a woman come to be with child? Um, done effed up, a a Ron. He straight up took advantage of the fact that she didn't know Jack diddly about that. Exactly. Sex. I don't think there's even like a way that he could explain that to her that she would understand. Because you can say all day that he was like abusive and he was never supportive, but like it's never gonna have the same impact as watching it on Netflix. Yeah. Are you ready for bed, my dear? I believe I am. The pullout methods doesn't like. It's not foolproof. Dear Lord. He's gonna get mad at her like she did something, but reality is like, <laughs> that's freaking bound to happen. She's like, I'm gonna make this so good that you're not gonna be able to pull out. <laughs> Damn! She was like, nice try. Oh, my dad, I told my dad, I, oh, just kidding. Like, no, oh, please, this is so good. <laughs> Oh, shit. Daphne, what, what did you do? I had hoped I was mistaken, but clearly I was not. How could you? How could I? You lied to me. I did not I lie. Trusted, you did. I trusted you more than anyone in this world, and you took advantage. You seized an opportunity, and so I did the very same. I told you I cannot give you children. Cannot and will not are two entirely different things. They sure are. I did not lie. I thought you were prepared. I thought you understood how a child came to be. She didn't even know how to touch herself. You, don't. you knew. Come on. I may not know much, as you have made abundantly clear, but I do know one thing. I know that is not love. Wow. The ones we love have the power to inflict the greatest scars. It's true. For what thing is more fragile than a human heart? Than the human heart. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Marina Thompson is with child. Did Penelope do it? Can the ends ever justify such wretched means? Wow! Who, <sighs> you guys? You guys, it's going down! Well, I sure learned a lot about how babies are made. Yeah. I had no idea. And here I thought it was the stork. That was an interesting conclusion. A, a climax, if you will. Oh my god. To that little arc. <laughs> yeah, I think See what uh, I did there. I, I saw. I think it's time <laughs> for him to step up and be the father that he wasn't now that the ship has probably sailed on him not being a father. Right. And I wish he would have, you know, had the emotional awareness to be able to tell her why he wouldn't be a father. And but try to explain it, yeah. But you know, they didn't have therapy back then. They exactly. probably would have just staked a spear in his head and been like, you're... <laughs> Give him a lobotomy. He's crazy. He's showing emotion. Uh, also, um, Penelope, I personally think that... Actually, I really like their conversation. Um, hers and Adora, is that her name? What they both said was correct. And they both were being selfish, but they also were both being honest. It was... Um, Except one was being selfish and unselfish at the same time, whereas one was being double selfish. 
I don't know. I think she sense. actually liked him. Yeah, she liked him, but she was setting him up. Well, so selfish. She unselfish. was still being selfish. I and the other wrong. one, her selfishness was coming out in an unselfish way. What do you think? What do you guys Let think? us know. Make sure that if you're <laughs> you not see like what side we're each on. <laughs> if you're not already, make sure you you you're like and subscribed to us. Uh, hit the bell for notifications because we've got two more episodes left. Yes, and we will see you in those episodes coming up soon. All right. Bye.